welcome to Dallas. Uh, I think most of us have, uh, you know, followed your career. You've been in the league a long time. Uh, but statistically speaking, I'm, I'm having a hard time figuring out uh, your rebounding numbers are really good. Your assist numbers are remarkably uh, high for a guy your size. And last season at age 32, your three-point shooting jumped up quite a bit in your career average. So what exactly are you going to be, what exactly are you bringing to Dallas? Um, just exactly what, what you said. Uh, everything I can do, I, I feel like if you can do something, um, you should. If you can, you should. Um, you know, on this team, we have so so much talent and so much weapons that a lot of those those skills that I that I home that I, I don't even not say don't need to use no more. But we have guys at Luca that really tears the the pick and roll apart. We have guys like like KP who can really sp space the floor and things like that. So my job is really coming in here, doing what is asked of me, being a, being a vet, being a, a older player, and just working hard. Uh, Dana Larson, Fox Sports Southwest. Go ahead, Dana. Hey, James, thank you so much for your time. Uh, um, also, you're a real welcome addition uh, because the Mavs very admittedly were looking to get a lot tougher with their <laughs> roster. Um, can you talk about what it takes to be tough in this league? Um. You know, you just got you, – that's not something you can teach. It's not something you can be coached on or anything like that. That's something that you, you just got to develop within yourself. Um, one thing about this team, though, is I didn't see no backing down. When I, was, when I was watching games, I didn't see no backing down from any of them at all, and that's, it, that's, that's what you need. I can work with that. You can have heart. That's all you need. But I don't think they needed an enforcer like me to come in to enforce stuff. Like, Luca takes care of himself, and that's one of the most reasons I respect about him more than his game is – that he's able to stand up and, and and to fight for himself if needed, but how the rest of the guys took took it um, took that challenge on and accepted that and looked after Luca, that's just part of who I am and it's just part of something I want to be about. Okay, uh, Chuck Cooper's team, Mads uh, Radio. Hey James, how are you? Uh, just uh, you know, follow up kind of what Dana asked about. So much of uh, the talk after you signed here or were fired here was about your toughness and the black belts and you know, MMA stuff and, and all that. But uh, I mean, you did, you played really well at the end of the year last year. You had a 19 point game against the Mavericks. So I mean, there is more than, than the toughness here. I mean, ultimately, given the, the roster makeup of this team, like where do, where do you think your skills are best? Used and will be best suited to helping this team. Um, I think that's a better question for Rick, honestly. I, I mean, I know what I can bring. I, I understand why you guys brought me here or why they brought me here, and I feel it was more than just the toughness in the black belt. But, you know, I'm, I'm able to play whatever role that, that's thrown my way, and if, if I got to be uh, our team, uh, whatever you want to call that, then that's, that's my role. Okay, Isaac Harris. Isaac? Hey, James, welcome to Dallas, man. With the makeup of this team, and you're one of the few guys on the team over the age of 30, what what does your leadership and your experience in the league bring to a young team like this? Um, I don't think age brings leadership at all. I think what 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 my years and experience in the league brings is just di different defensive sets, different offensive sets. Everybody damn near runs the same thing. They just call it something different. You know, the flats can be ices, the ices can be blues. You know, just as long as you learn the terminology and you don't have to think before react, and I think, I think that's what it is. And I can explain to the, the young guys, like, take your booklets home, man. That's something I never did as a rookie or second year player. Take my booklets home to read early plays or read the defensive schemes that we're gonna work through in practice. Like, just the important little stuff that I picked up on the way that, you know, has nothing to do with basketball. Uh, Callie Kaplan. James, good to see you. Welcome to Dallas. Um, you mentioned. Can't hear you, Kelly. Broken up. Can you hear me, Pam? No. Yes. Yeah. Oh, sorry about that. Welcome to Dallas. But when you mentioned that when you were watching the Mavs, they didn't back down. But what were your other impressions um, from watching them from afar and from playing against them over the past? I, I honestly I honestly love that series. I, I thought they really had a chance. They they give that team the the biggest challenge of their whole run 
to the ship. So, you know, that says something. But to, like I said, to, to taking a challenge like that and, and to be in that position, you know, I don't know when the last time they was in that position or if Luca ever was in that position or Doe was ever in that position or KP was ever in that position. But, you know, I think that that just comes with experience and they, they got to they gotta, a level up on experience after last year. Kevin Gray. James, welcome to Dallas, and uh, glad to have you here. Uh, question for you. you: You recall little Ali when you were growing up because of <laughs> footwork. Right. Uh, talk about what aspects of MMA and kickboxing and the mentality that you bring from that has helped you as a basketball player throughout your career. That's helped you have the longevity that you've had in this league. Um, I think it was just the challenges, you know, and fighting. You always you're always training for that one person and. And it's just you versus him, things like that. But in, in basketball, it's a team sport, so you have to do what's needed. But me walking onto the court or me walking into the cage feels the same. Jessica Armstrong, Jessica. Hey, James, uh, this team has said that championship is the goal. What does that mean to you, and how much does that excite you that that's what their goal is for the season? It's, it's a realistic goal, you know. Anybody can say that, that that's the goal. I think that's every NBA team's goal. But when when you you hear Dallas saying that, you know it's realistic. Brianna, Brianna, go ahead. Hello, James. Um, so you've pretty much played everywhere. Do you think there is something that you can learn from Coach Carlisle that you haven't uh, maybe learned? I mean, I've been been going against Coach for 12 years now, so, you know, you learn a lot just from being his opponent. But, you know, just the first day of practice, just the little tips and knacks and the, the, the lessons that he has and everything else, you know, of course it's easy to pay attention to that. Okay, two more. Uh, Valencia, go ahead, Valencia. Hey, James, welcome to Dallas, and happy Friday to you. I am curious, with your longevity in the NBA, how has your love and appreciation for the game of basketball changed, or not, over the years? Um, I, I think my love for the game, it, it, it broadened more than my aspects of the game when I first came in as, in college. You know, when you come in college, you're young, you think it's about money and everything else, and then you don't see the brotherhood, you don't see the camaraderie, you don't see how much you really love the game until you, you're missing it. You know, taking a year off of this COVID, this pandemic happening, I haven't got to play basketball in nine, ten months, it kind of puts things in perspective. Uh, final question, Chris Henderson. Chris? All right, James, so for years, me and you have talked speakers, and, you know, I see you. I see you. I see you. <laughs> I'm All right, so I got to ask you, man, so what brand are you going to be like with this year? And also, I want you to tell Mavericks fans who you are because I think you have a big personality. You're a fashion guy. You love music, I know. So I just want Mavericks fans to know you. You got to tell us what brand you're wearing this year. Um, definitely going to probably be in the Nikes, Kobe's. You know, you got to pay my tribute. Um, But, yeah, you know, I'm simple. I, I love to have fun, as in like a commodity. I love to take care of my teammates, have to go eat dinner, chill, family guy, whatever. But you know, I, it's hard to explain who I am without. You know what I mean? It's hard. But who I who I know I will be for this team is a hard worker, someone who's gonna give it up every night and grind for sure. All right. Thank you for the time, James. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you guys.